If you are on Windows 11 and watching this video, it's due to this issue. Even if you try to preview images, you can't. Why? Because you only see the icon here if you click to view, and even if we make it very large, we still see the icon. There are two or three things we can do in this case. The first of these is to press the Alt key plus P. And here on the right, if we select an image, it should be previewed. If we see it, the image should appear here. If this resolves the issue, then everything is perfect. But if not, don't worry. We go to where it says view. Just to the right, there are three ellipses. We will click there and then go to where it says options. Once we are here, this box appears. I will zoom in so you can see it clearly. You will click where it says view. And here all these options will appear. Let's slide. But not too fast because we need this option over here which is called Show File Icon in Thumbnail Views. What you're gonna do is activate it and then click Apply. There is a small bug here, I don't know why it happens. It happens, but in theory, this should be disabled. However, for me, it was enabled. So what we are going to do is disable it again. I mean, it was disabled, I activated it, and it was supposed to change, but it didn't. So we disable it again and apply it. If you experience the same issue as I did, and it still doesn't show up, close that tab, go back to options, and you will notice that, oh surprise, that bug is still there. I don't know why it happens so often, but if you look here, the option appears disabled, but it could be that I close it and re-enter, and it shows up as disabled or enabled again. So look, let's see, now it shows that it is enabled. So you see there is a small bug there. So what you are going to do is re-enter and disable it, and then it should work. You see that the images appear, it may happen that it shows the same issue again and the images still don't appear. So what do you do? You come back here, go back to options, then look for the same option again and find it again and so on. If it is enabled, disable it, apply it and close this. If it has loaded, leave it like that, don't do anything else. But if it hasn't loaded anything yet, go back and click on options again. Go back here, you will see, go back here. Look for the icon or the option, always show icons, disable it again, deactivate it, and that's it. Apply, accept, and now it should have loaded. If it still hasn't, there is an option that is not a direct solution, but at least it helps a little, and it is this one here. You can search in the Microsoft Store for an image viewer or a photo viewer. You can use any of these, or you can directly search for one that many people use called Quick Look. It's this one here because it is quite simple to use and it actually has a very good rating. Just install it and what it will do is help us preview both videos and images, photos, as you wish. So we just wait for it to load and it's done. It has fully installed. Let's open it. And as you can see, nothing opens at all. So we just need to keep clicking open until this appears. It tells us that Quick Look allows for quick previewing of certain types of files by pressing the spacebar while it is highlighted. We click accept and it literally tells us what it is for for example. I am going to select this seal. I press the space key and it automatically previews it for me. If I press space again, it will close. Now with these bills, it works the same way. What I do is simply click on it. I press space and it previews here. And if I want to close it, I just click here. Here we even have other options like this one over here, which is to open with the photos app from Windows. This one over here is to open it with any other application if we want to. And this one is simply to enlarge the image. If we press space, it will close automatically. It's something to do quickly in case this doesn't work for you. They click on it, press space, and they can preview it. They can even go back, move forward, or go back, and they will see that the image changes automatically based on what we have in the folder. That said, see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.